Hey, my name is Ken Freeman. I live in San Antonio, Texas, home of the San Antonio Spurs. I'm a Dallas Cowboy fan. I don't know if that offends you. I love having fun in life. You're probably trying to figure out who I am and what I do. I am a motivational speaker. I've done over 20,000 public school assemblies in over the last 30 years. This kind of just fell into my lap as I speak in other venues and other places. But I have a real heart for students and their parents and teachers. My message is called Choices 101. In fact, I've written a brand new book called Choices 101. It's by Ken Freeman. And my book was actually birthed from doing school assemblies. And here's what I tell students. We're always one choice away from a different life. People make choices and choices make people. I don't believe there's any bad kids or stupid kids. I think we make bad and stupid choices. And so the choices we make today always affects how we live tomorrow. I also tell students that three things that our choices will always affect is our family. 38 million kids in America have no idea, no idea where the real father is. 19 million kids never seen their real dad. It affects our friends and I tell students, if you're partying with your friends, you're hanging with friends that are disrespectful, that are rebellious and deceptive, then you are not friends, you're each other's worst enemy. And the third thing is I say, show me your friends and I'll show you your future. So their choices and our choices affect our family, our friends and our future. I also build it around laughter, learning, listening, and life. All of those involve choices. And so for the first few minutes, we will laugh. I will do just crazy, funny humor that students like, and we'll have fun. So I tear down some walls. And when one girl goes to the bathroom, it's a convention. One girl will walk her to find girls. We gotta go. And that lock arms like go up to see the Wizard of Oz. I've never in my life seen five boys do this. Hey dog, you wanna potty? Then I talk about listening. I also get your students to interact with me. I'll get them to use the word choice and choices when I point at them. Listening is a choice. Learning is a choice. Laughter is a choice. Life is a choice. And we're always one choice. away from a different life. Now everybody say laughter. Laughter. Everybody say listen. Listen. Learn. Learn. Life. Life. I also play a couple of games uh, to keep their attention. Simon says my game is starting. I said, in order to start my game, I need everyone to stand. Stand quickly, hurry. You realize everybody that stood is now out. If you stood, you're out. Simon says both hands up, both hands down, goodbye. Stop right there, stop. Now you're out. Okay, good. Both y'all come here. Both y'all come over here. Simon says come over here. Yeah, stop right there. Now you're out. Both y'all are out. Wasn't that fun? And then I share my story, and real quickly, nine stepfathers in my life, 24 different schools going up. I was in jail by the time I was 15, alcoholic mom, a loser of a dad, grew up in that environment. And so, I dysfunctional, I wouldn't even come close to describing what I grew up in. Any way you could be abused, any way, anything that you went through, we went through it, me and my siblings. And so, I share a little bit of my life with students because many students are living my life. And so I want to give them some hope. And here's what I tell them. Ken Freeman's proof that if you make the right choices, that you can take a mess and make it a message. I did end up graduating from high school, two years of college. I've written three books, married 41 years, uh, two boys, nine grandkids, and a dog named Peaches. The choices that you and I make will affect three things. Everybody say family. 38 million kids in America have no idea where their real father is. 19 million kids in America have never seen their real dad. Everybody say friends. friends. When I talk about friends, I'm not talking about the friends that you're going to go to bed with, that you're drinking with, that you're partying with. Look at me close. I'm not talking about the friends that you're running around that are rebellious and deceptive, you need to listen, that are disrespectful. The friends, see, here's the deal. If that's who you're running with and that's the stuff you're doing, you are not each other's friends. You're each other's worst enemy. Everybody say family. Family. Everybody say friends. Friends. And here's the third one. I tell students, you show me your friends. And here's the third thing. Everybody say future. Future. I'll show you your future. Let me tell you what it really starts with. Everybody say attitude. Attitude. 
when you and I woke up this morning, are you ready? It doesn't matter who you are. Every day when you wake up, you choose an attitude. Only two. There's two attitudes in the world. Here's the first one. I'm going to get the best out of this day. Look at me. An attitude that says I'm going to laugh at the right things, listen to the right people. An attitude that says, you know what? My life is going to make a difference today in a good way. Or, here's the attitude, because I'm looking at some of them. Just how you sit in your chairs. You know, for you that slump down, for you that, you know, I'm just telling you, for you that have your arms folded, I want you to listen. The other attitude is, it's a see what I can get away with attitude. A cheating attitude, a poor me attitude, a lying attitude. You see, do you understand? You don't get to choose a whole lot of things for your life. But the one thing that you and I choose all of our life, everybody say attitude. attitude. My half-brother that I never met died at 40 from needles. Are you ready? Started with the wrong attitude. Then he started smoking. Then he started drinking. Then he started marijuana. Then it was some pills. Then it was snorting or sniffing. And eventually it was just shooting up and he's dead at 40. Guys, some of you have been dealt my deal. And I'm here to tell you this. I'm proof. You can literally take a mess and make it an incredible message when you begin to make incredible choices. Guys, you've got to learn. Listen. Smart people learn from their own mistakes. Wise people will always learn from other people's mistakes. So here's the deal. I love having fun. I want your kids to laugh. I want your kids to learn. Smart people learn from their own mistakes. Wise people learn from other people's mistakes. And here's the other deal. I want them to listen and I want their lives to have meaning and purpose. Let me go ahead and say this. We live in a pretty messed up world. And I believe the students, if they just tapped in to making right choices every day, they would laugh at the right things, listen to the right people, and they would learn. So I hope that you'll consider me coming into your school. We will have an incredible experience. My assembly goes about 40, 45 minutes, but I work with your time frame. I've got letters that we can send you, but I, my wife taught for 14 years. The two hardest jobs in this world is being a parent and a teacher. They neither one get paid enough for what they're asked to do. So I want to thank you as a principal, as an educator, a teacher, for what you're doing with students and children today. I don't think you definitely don't get paid enough. I don't think you get credit enough but keep doing what you're doing. There's a lot of Ken Freemans that are in, are in your schools and I wanna help them make better choices. Remember, one choice away from a different life. I hope you'll choose to have me come to your school and challenge your kids. Thank you.